This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. With the engine completely cold, cover the expansion tank cap with a wad of rag and slowly turn the cap anti-clockwise to relieve the pressure in the cooling system. Wait until any pressure remaining in the system is released, then continue to turn the cap until it can be removed. Position a suitable container under the radiator to catch the coolant. On some models, a drain plug is located at the left-hand end of the radiator. Undo the plug to drain the coolant. On models where no drain plug is fitted, undo the bolt, release the clamp, and disconnect the intercooler pipe for access to the radiator lower hose. Prise up the wire clip each side, pull the lower hose connection from the radiator and allow the coolant to drain into the container. Using a spanner, slacken the bleed screw on the top of the radiator. When the coolant has finished draining, remove the container from beneath the vehicle. Close the drain plug or press the lower hose connection onto the radiator, ensuring the clips engage fully. Reconnect the intercooler hose, tighten the clamp securely, then refit and tighten the retaining bolt. Slowly fill the system with a 50-50 mixture of antifreeze and water, periodically squeezing the rubber hoses to expel any trapped air. Continue adding coolant until it emerges from the bleed screw, then close the screw. Top up the coolant level to the max mark, then refit the expansion tank cap. Start and run the engine for a few minutes until the cooling fan operates. Then stop the engine and allow it to cool. Recheck the coolant level and top up if necessary.